guys, I'm Amanda, the Botanical Burnett, and welcome to my channel. So I cannot believe that we are already in December. It's crazy, like this year has just flown right by, like especially the last couple of months. I've just been so busy, like it's, it's just, it's been great, but it's, been kind of hectic. I'm sure you guys are all feeling the same way, but I want to talk about the plants that I got for the month of November. So we're gearing down. Like these are the last couple of months that I can complete my wish list. So I know that I've only had a few plants left on my wish list. It's getting toward the end of the year and I still have a few left on there. Most of them are honorable mentions. I have one that's left which is um, an anthurium. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get one this year. That was kind of like my, you know, maybe Equigeria has one kind of thing. And yeah, they, they do, but I don't know. I'm just kind of like, I kind of go through phases with plants. Sometimes I'll really like them, sometimes I won't. And right now I'm like, do I really want that? Like, do I want to buy it? Or did I just see it and get influenced and just want to buy it? So I'm still thinking about that. That is the last plant on my like wish list, wish list. And then I have the honorable mentions, which are just like a few plants here and there. So the honorable mentions are the ones that I have just been adding to throughout the whole year. So a lot of those plants, like some of them come and go. I've even taken some off of my big wish list but I tried to keep it at 12 plants just to make sure that I got every, like a wish list plant every month. I know there was there was like a month or two that I didn't actually get any of my wish list plants. I just got like random plants that I saw and I liked. So like I'm just excited to show you guys the plants that I got for this month because this month I definitely checked off a major, major wishlist plant. This is a plant that other than the Monstera elbow, this plant was another plant that I was like, I have to have that plant. It was like the beginning of my plant journey. Like I would say, I mean, really not the beginning of my plant journey, but really the beginning of all of this botanical brunette and everything. I loved this plant and I've been in love with this plant for at least three years. So <laughs> I'm excited to show you guys that plant that I got. And I also got two other really cute plants, plants that I have been wanting. So yeah, so let's get into it. Let's see the plants that I got for the month of November. So I'm gonna do this one more time. Here's a recap of the rules. So this whole year I created a wish list, and I'm trying to buy at least one plant off of that wish list a month. The reason why I kind of stuck with a wish list is because I was starting to just last year buying plants at willy nilly and I was just going crazy with buying plants. So this year I stuck with just a wish list tentatively and I also try to maintain a $50 budget. I had that also last year. So I tried to roll that into this year. Last year, the only difference was I had like plant supplies and everything wrapped up into that where this year is just plants. I figured the wishlist plants are probably gonna take up most of that $50 budget anyway, especially if they're rarer plants. So I just wanted to kind of just keep that separate. And then the first plant that you see is the first plant that I got in the month and then the last plant is the last plant. So let's get started. Let's see these plants because I'm so excited to show you guys. So the first two plants are plants that I literally got into the week before Thanksgiving and I'm like, oh my God, I don't have any plants for a plant haul. And I was also thinking, you know, with shipping and this and that, it's gonna take a couple of days to get here. I don't know what plant to get. I thought about getting, like I said, that anthurium from Aquagaria, but I was like, oh, I just, I don't know. So like I did a couple months ago at a desperation, I ran to Lowe's, when in doubt, I just go to plant nurseries or like hardware stores or department stores and I try to find that diamond in a rough or just like really any plant to show you guys for the month. I know I don't have to, but like I just want to and also it's fun to go plant shopping and buy a new plant. So the first plant that I got, or at least the first plant that I picked up is this skin dapsis. Oh my goodness, guys. She is a beauty. 
So I have a Silvery Ann, which is very similar to this one. Silvery Ann basically is just like kind of sil more silvery around the edges. You get a lot more silver variegation where this one is more of like polka dotty. And I have been wanting one of these for a long time. I have sort of been getting better with Scandapsis's. I was really bad in the beginning with that Silvery Ann. It was my struggle plant. It was definitely a plant that I got in the beginning of my whole plant collecting journey. And I had no idea how to care for a Scandapsis. They like, they always had those like taco leaves, like just all rolled up. And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. I was just like, I don't even know. I wish I could give the person credit, but someone told me to bottom water all my Scandapsis. And that literally changed the entire game. Like that changed everything. So now I bottom water all of my Scandapsis because I, I just was having such a hard time with root rot with them. My Silvery Ann is still having issues with root rot. I don't really know what's going on with that plant. <laughs> I just, I have no idea. I've kind of low key given up on her, but I still love her. So uh, we're, we're trying our best, but this Scandapsis is just a dream. So I actually got this plant and it wasn't a different pot. It was in a terracotta pot. You know me with the white planters, I have to, you know, have everything. Um, you know, the same. So I switched it out for a um, white pot. Super cute. I think it actually goes better with the Scandapsis. I just like to kind of like have that variegation like matching. I don't know. It's just a dumb thing that I do. But I mean, look at her. She's so pretty. So that terracotta pot, I'm actually going to gift to someone this year. So I'm going to put a plant that I'm not loving anymore into that pot. I'm gonna kind of jazz it up. And I mean, it's a brand new pot and just kind of give that as a gift this year, um, just because I need to kind of like weed out, no pun intended, <laughs> some of my plants to kind of like make room for new ones. Um, I'm thinking that, you know, I'm still kind of deciding on what to do for my plant hauls for next year. So I'm not really sure, but I'm so happy to get this. This was like such a great find. Um, I literally walked by this plant like three times, like trying to like, I kept looking at it and I was like, I don't know. I was almost gonna get a ficus Audrey, but I, I've been having issues with my, with my fiddly fig. Um, but you know, she's reviving <laughs> for the, 90th time like we we go through roller coasters it's just it's crazy but um i was like i'm not gonna get a ficus again so i got a scandapsis and i am so happy to get her it's just so pretty and i just love her so the second plant that i got at lowe's was a plant that i was just like you know, I grabbed the Scandapsis and I was like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get her. But I kind of like, she was only $20. So I was like, I wanna get like another plant. Like, I don't wanna just spend $20 on my budget. Cause like, if I have an extra 30, why not spend it, right? <laughs> so I was just kind of like shifting, sifting through like plants. I was just trying to find like just something. And I don't know if you guys know this, or maybe you guys, have these at your Lowe's or Home Depot or anything, but they have these like air, like, I guess, I mean, in my um, Home Depot and Lowe's, they have like these like trays, like trays on trays on trays of these like small plants, like in like three to two inch pots. I found this plant just peeping up over the top and I had to grab her. And that is this peace lily. She's so pretty. So what I saw was like this popping up off the top. And I'm like, is that a peace lily? And there's like a little baby. She's like blooming. So pretty. I'm so excited to add a peace lily into my collection. Like I have been kind of eyeing them for a while. Um, I know that they are pretty toxic to cats. So I just kind of make sure that I keep it on a shelf that's high enough that he can't, you know, reach or anything. But 
I like I couldn't pass this up. It was five dollars. Like there's no way that I could have passed this like peace lily up for five dollars. And you know what the best part about getting like a small plant like this is watching it grow. Next year you guys are gonna see this plant and you're gonna be like, if I haven't killed it. <laughs> then you guys are gonna be like, wow, like look how big it got. It's so fun to see like the before and afters really of all the plants that you get for the year. So this peace lily is just uh, gorgeous. Like I absolutely love it so much. And I love that they're lower light plants. I do keep it in my kitchen area, which is kind of sort of in the middle of my house, but it's in between the, the southeast window and like a an east window. So it kind of gets sort of like lower light all day because you get like the south and then the east. So I kind of, you know, it gets light pretty much every day, but I'm just like, and this was literally the only one because normally I would literally go through and grab like every single one. Like if there was many peace lilies, I'd go through and literally grab every single one and check it, make sure there's no pests, make sure that like, oh, well this one has bigger leaves or this one has like, you know, three, you know, actually plants in there or yeah. there was just one. So it like, you know, saved me some time without <laughs> sifting through, but I'm just like, these leaves are just beautiful. Like these like glossy green leaves. I'm just like a sucker for a basic plant, I guess. Like I just love just kind of common plants. Like we don't need to be getting all these crazy plants. Common ones are just as nice. Now, although I just said that, I have a kind of a rarer plant that I have added to my collection. I'm so excited to show you guys. So I was, I just was kind of like browsing around on Etsy on Black Friday. And I was like, okay, like I need to, you know, maybe I'll get another plant. Cause I only spent $25 at Lowe's. I was like, maybe I'll get another plant. And I, I checked my wish list and I was like, meh. Like, you know, I'm kind of at the end of it. So like a lot of the plants that I have on there are like plants that I'd like to have, but like, I'm not desperate for them. And there was one that I was like, let me check. And that is a philodendron Rio. Look at this plant. Guys, I can't even describe how I felt when I opened the package of this plant. Like, <coughs> look at this weird long leaf. Like, it's fun. I love this plant so much. I've been wanting a philodendron Rio forever. I mean, you guys know my love for my uh, silver stripe slash cream splash, whatever that is. I think that that has now downranked in my love. I think that this is now at the top because how could you not? Like, look how beautiful that variegation is. I cannot get enough of it. I'm literally like, so I keep this in a like hanging planter um, and I literally am sitting on my couch on the other side of the room, staring at it. I'll walk over even at like nine o'clock at night and just look at the leaves because it's just so pretty. And when I, when I bought it, I bought it off of a girl on Etsy. Actually, she's out in Tampa. I'll link her below so you can check her out. But I was like, you know, it's gonna be a whatever plant. There's been times where I've bought plants on Etsy and they've been kind of like, meh. Like, you know, like, oh cool, like I got this plant, but you know, they've been, they, they're not like blowing me away. This one, I literally left a review and I was just like, buy all of these. Like I almost wanna buy another one to fill it out because it's just so pretty. Now it actually came, so these two little like aerial roots are actually rooted in the soil. So I thought to kind of cut this and since it's already rooted and put it in the pot kind of together, um, 
I probably will do that. I actually was just waiting to show you guys what it looked like when I got it, minus the fact that I planted it in the planter, um, which I actually just got this planter too. Super cute. I found it at Marshall's on, um, I think it was Cyber Monday. I went out shopping and I was like, cause I knew this was coming and I'm like, I have to get like a cute planter for it. And this actually fits perfectly on the hanging planter. I love like rounded planters in a hanging planter. They're just so pretty. So, and I actually got this for $4. Like it was insane. Like, cause Michael's in like, you know, TJ Maxx and all that stuff, they are all kind of getting rid of their spring and like planty stuff. So, you know, it's a great time to go buy stuff if you can find it. It's really hard to find it because they don't really have it in stock really anymore. But I mean, I don't even know what else to say. I don't even know what else to say, guys. It is just so pretty and I'm just loving it. Now I did notice Cause I was like, what is the difference between like the Rio minus the fact that it's like more of a white variegation and um, they actually have longer leaves. So if you see like this leaf is super like long and narrow where on my silver stripe cream splash, the leaves are a little bit more like a regular Hartley philodendron. They're kind of like a little bit fatter and like shorter. So these are kind of longer and skinnier. So that's kind of how you know that it's, you know, an actual Rio. <laughs> that is the last plant that I got for the month of November with a bang. The other two plants weren't on my wish list. They just, they were a plants that I would like to have, but I never like added them just because, you know, they weren't like, I don't know. I, I really don't know why I didn't add them, honestly, because they were plants that I would like to have had. So maybe in my honorable mentions, they should have been there, but it was one of those things where like I saw them in person and then I was like, I gotta have it. I'm sure you guys have had that reaction too, where like, you're like, well, oh, it's, you know, it's pretty like in a picture, but once you see it in real life, you're like, oh no, no, I need to have that plan. <laughs> so that's kind of like the situation I had with those. Those are the plants I got. So the grand total for the month of November is $55. So I only went $5 over my like actual budget, which, you know, $5 is really nothing. Um, so I think that's like pretty good. So I don't know what December has in store. I feel like I need to buy like a really good, like rare plant because it's the last month of the year. So who knows what I'm gonna be able to find in the month of December, or I'm gonna probably, you know, it's probably gonna be most likely me running to Lowe's again and seeing if I can find a plant because this month has been bananas. So like always, let me know in the comments what plants you got for the month of November. And yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys all have a great day and stay botanical.